Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Everybody praise God. Good morning and welcome to Kingdom Word Ministry where we preach and teach the Word of God chapter by chapter, verse by verse. Praise God. I'm excited, praise God, to be here this morning. I know that I'm not here because I've been good or great, but I'm here by His grace and His mercy. And I know you are the same this morning. We came through a year of 2020, a year that we've never witnessed any year we witnessed like this before. I know we'll never forget it, but God was still in 2020, praise God. He allowed us to cross over and to 2021, praise God. I'm expecting a blessing, praise God. I'm expecting this year to be a blessing to, to me, to you, and to the United States and all over the world, praise God. Those that are mine are focused on Jesus, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise God. So let's get right into the word this morning. The word be coming from Psalm chapter 1, verse 1 through 3, beginning with verse 1 of our text. It says, Blessed is the man that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law do he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bring forth fruit in his season. His leaves shall also not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Praise God. So let us pray. Father God, we thank you for another day, another year, another year above ground. Thank you for a new beginning, a new start, God. We know, God, that we're the, the trials and tribulation and things that took place. 2020, God, but you brought us through it, God. And David said, Yea, though I walk through the valleys of shadows of death, God, you, you brought us through it, God. And we're so grateful and appreciative, God, you allowed us to see 2021, God. And we are expecting, God, and we believe in God that you have something great in store for us. And God, we want to give you praise. We want to give you the glory in advance, God. We want to thank you, God, for another new year, God. Thank you, God, for, for allowing us to be able to fellowship with one another and have the activities of our limbs, God. And we want to tell you, thank you, God, for just another day above ground. We want to give you praise. We want to give you glory. So let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, in Jesus' name we pray, in the body of of believers said, Amen. Praise God. This morning, I'd like to talk to you from the subject, Resolution or Revelation. Resolution are self-imposed. They are self-wielded. They are self-propelled. The idea that that does not include the power of God. But what you really need is not another New Year resolution, but a New Year revelation. Very briefly this morning, I'd like to talk to you from the thought of New Year resolution or New Year revelation. You see, my brother and sister, once again, we have a allow us to see another new year. Praise God. It is not because we've been good. It's not because we've been great. It's not because we uh, uh, did everything right. But it's because he's been good. And he's been good to us. Praise God. Hallelujah. In spite of our shortcomings. In spite of our faults. He, he still saw us. Praise God. Precious in his sight. God. And we're so honored this morning. Give him praise and we give him glory this morning. Can we say hallelujah? Can we say glory to his name? When you really think about it, how the Lord has, has heard your prayer, has, has heard your petition, has entertained your supplication, and how he has healed your body. I don't know if you had problem with your body, praise God. But I had five surgeries, God. And 20, 20, praise God. And the Lord saw fit, praise God, for me to be here. Praise God. I, 
not serving just on one item, one item of my body, but many items. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord allowed me to be here today. He directed my path. He blessed me in 2020. Praise God. If the Lord has blessed you. You ought to reach over and tell somebody, thank you. Praise God. The Lord has been good to me. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Now, you, you know, that this new year is a time where all, where people all around the world are making New Year resolutions. But the truth be told, my brothers and sisters, what we really need, we need to, to have a revelation. We hear about resolution every new year, ranging from spending more time with our family, Stop the habits, a uh, bad habit that we have. And should have been stopped years ago. And the end result, uh, many of our resolution fail. Time and time again. And, and, but, but the reason why our resolution often fail is because revolution are self-imposed. Self-propelled. Self-willed. God knows what you need, when you need it. But when you make resolution, you're making resolution without God. You're making resolution without God being in it, praise God. But what you really need is not another New Year resolution, but a New Year revelation. Give us a hallelujah. The best revelation comes from God through the scriptures that are divinely inspired by him for us. A revelation contains God's plan, contains God's purpose for our life. God said, I know the plan that I have for you. I know what is in store for you. I know what I want you to do. I, I know that I want you to have a bright future. Praise God. Hallelujah. So God plan is for us. And he has a purpose for us. That's why when you go through the trials and tribulation of life, he said all, he said now we know that all things work together for good for them that love God who are called according to his purpose. Even in the text before us today, the Son has provided us with a spirit field revelation that will guide us in 2021. Praise God. But notice how he starts this revelation. In verse 1, he starts this revelation with the word, blessed. Blessed. Blessed is the man that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scorn. Blessed is the man. The word blessed translated in Hebrew has the idea of happiness and contentment. If someone calls you blessed, there should be something about you that look that makes you look happy, make you look content. You can't say that I'm blessed. And there's no happiness. There's no joy. There's no peace about you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. You see, the root meaning of the word, it means to be straight. It means to be right with the law. Blessed is a man speaking of a happiness and of happiness and of blessedness and contentment in the life of the man or the woman. Praise God. Who is right, who is straight with the law. Do you have it right? Do you have it straight with the Lord this morning? The righteous man will, will, be, will be blessed. He's a blessed man. He's a happy man. He did not say blessed is the king. Blessed is the scholar. Blessed is the rich. But he said blessed is the man. That let me know that you can be blessed. Any person can be blessed. The rich, the poor, black, or white, red, yellow. You can be blessed this morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. The idea of blessing in the general sense 
suggests is that something, it is something that God does for us. But in this text, before us this morning, the psalmist revealed to us that it has something that we must do for ourselves. Blessed is the man that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor sit, standeth in the way of sinners, nor sit in the way of the scornful. The promise revealed to us that it's something we must do for ourselves. We're, we're not trying to get other people to do it for ourselves. It's something we must do for ourselves. It's a decision that you must make this morning, praise God. Hallelujah. And he said how to do this is by watching the company that you keep. Watch the company that you keep in 2021 this morning, praise God. Start this year off watching, praise God. How you walk this morning, praise God. How you talk this morning, praise God. Who you, you keep in your company, praise God. Because it says that assimilation, association brings up assimilation, praise God. What the psalmist is telling us this morning, if you want to be blessed in 2021, you have to terminate, you have to let go some of the people that's in your circle. Delete some of the contacts in your cell phone. Some of the people you were hanging around with in 2020, you, you, you might have to let them go. You might have to let them go in 2021. Because in this text, it mentions three groups of people. It talks about the ungodly. It talks about the sinner and the scornful. The righteous man will not walk, nor sit, nor stand in the seat. Or walk their ways and their behavior. Praise God this morning. The blessed man does not do certain things. His walk is different. Your walk is different from the world. Most people, the Bible that they read, they read you. Your walk, your talk, your action have to be different. Praise God. There's a way he will not walk. A path that he will not stand in. A seat that he will not sit in. We can say these feats of thinking and behavior and who and belonging, praise God. The righteous man and the ungodly man are, are different in how they think, how they behave, and to whom they belong. Your thinking and your behavior, praise God. Your talk, your walk, what you do and who you belong to, who you represent this morning, praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us to come out from among them. The ungodly men are those who sin normally and feel no conviction. And the sinner men are those who sin openly with no, no shame. Praise God. Hallelujah. The scornful are those who sin and encourage others to join them in their sin. Praise God. And what the summit is telling us this morning in 2020, you have to be you have to bless yourself by stopping hanging around some of the people that you hung around with in 21. Pretty, praise God, hallelujah. Who mean you no good. You need to delete some of the people that you have in your cell phone because they mean you no good this morning. Praise God, hallelujah, glory to God. Not everybody that's, that's walking with you, smiling with you, mean you any good, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. But if you hang around, the thought is if you hang around wolves, you hang around long enough, guess what? You will start howling like a wolf. I know it sounds harsh, but it's holy. That's why Paul tells us in 2 Corinthians 6 and 17, he said, come out from among them and in be ye separate, said the Lord. Come on out. Come out of there. Association brings on assimilation. Come on out of there. Come from around there. You can't do what everybody else do. You're not of the world. You're in the world, but you're not of the world. In other words, we have to, we have to bless ourselves by 
I'm not walking and standing or sitting in seat. Praise God. Hallelujah. With people who mean you no good. But not only do you need to terminate or stop some of the people in your circle and delete some of the spirit in your phone, but the text tells us also, it reveals to us what the righteous man does. Verse 2, it tells us that his delight, righteous man, delight is in the scriptures. His delight is in the law of the Lord. Righteous man is delighted with the words of God. What makes him happy? What gets him excited? That is a good way to, to see what's important in your life. When you find out what makes you happy, what gets you excited. If a personal pleasure is the only thing that makes you happy, then you're a selfish, self-centered person. If being with your family or friend delights you, that, that, that can be good. But it still falls short. God wants you to be excited and delight in him. The Bible says if you delight yourself in the Lord, he'll give you the desires of your heart. The righteous man finds delight in the law of the Lord. The man must have some delight. Some supreme pleasure. His heart was never meant to be a vacuum. If it's not filled with the best things, it will be filled with the unworthy and disappointing things of life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. If a person delights in something, you don't have to beg them to do it. You don't have to beg them to do it. They, they do it on their own. They'll lock it on their own. They'll do it all by themselves. You can never measure your delight. You can't measure your delight by, by, for, for the word of God by how you are home. Let me repeat that, praise God. You can measure your delight for the word of God by how much you are hungry for the word. His devotion to the scriptures. His delight in the law of the Lord. He said he his he, his the, his law do he meditate day and night. It's not just one part of the day, but it's all the parts of the day. He meditate on it day and night. He told Joshua, Joshua, I, I want you to meditate on this word. Keep this word in you. Meditate on this word. Think of this word day and night. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. His delight is confirmed by his devotion to the word of God. This devotion is, 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 is steadfast. It, it's Continual, not occasional or passing fast. The psalmist tells us in verse 3, he tells us, he shows us how the righteous man is blessed. The righteous man is a blessed man. He said, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaves shall also not wither, and whatsoever he does, do it, she'll prosper. His delight is in the Lord. He said he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. A tree is strong. It's strong, but if it does not get what it needs, it will not grow. A tree by a river has a continuous source of water. It will never wither away because it's always getting what it needs. If you're constantly in need, it may be worth your while to examine it to see if we are planted by the rivers of water or not. Paul tells us, he said, my God, 
my God shall supply all of my needs. If you are planted by the river of the water, which is God, you don't have to worry about your need, about your need being met. God is your source. He is the river. This will also mean that the, the tree that is, is a strong tree, it's a stable tree, it's a tree that is deeply bedded in, in, in the ground, and the roots deep rooted, praise God, hallelujah. When rain and wind and different things come upon it, it stands, praise God, because it's rooted, praise God, in the word of God. Somebody say hallelujah. The life of the righteous man is marred by his strength, by his stability, the thankful fruit in his season. The righteous man must bear fruit. Such fruit as the fruit of the spirit, joy, peace, happiness, love, long suffering. You have all of that, praise God, in just one fruit, praise God. It didn't say fruit, it said fruit. When it's time to, to show forth your fruit, praise God, God will allow you to show it, praise God, hallelujah. The fruit comes naturally from this tree. Because it is planted by the rivers of water. In your season, or in God's season, will allow you to bring your fruit. It's in God's season, praise God. Not only your season, but it's in God's season for your life. It is abiding in the life source of Jesus Christ, which he spoke about in John 15 and 5. He said, he that abideth in me and, my, and in him, the same shall bring forth much fruit. For who, without me, he said, you can do nothing. Some people get discouraged when they begin to walk as a righteous man and fruit is not immediately obvious. They need to wait until they bring forth fruit in their season. It might not be your season. Just because you see other fruit or other people are prospering, it might not be your season, but in your season you're going to bring forth fruit. Sometimes you go for a position, you go for this or that, and you might not get it. It might not be your season. It's not over. It's just a setback for a set up. Give us a hallelujah. Give us a glory to God. Because there are no barren trees in God's heart. And yet they may have a, a, a tendency of barrenness as an apple tree sometimes have. But they will flourish, will benefit in its season, praise God. In your season. You might be barren right now. You might not have no fruit right now. But there's no barren trees in God's orchard. In season, in your season, in God's season, he will allow you to bring forth fruit. Can we say hallelujah? Can we say glory to God? He said, also whose leaves are also shall not wither. They're not going to be brown. They're not going to die. They're not going to wither, have wither signs of, of, of deadness and dryness. There's going to always be joy even though you're barren, even though things are not going right, even though things are not happening for you. There's going to be some joy. There's going to be some peace in your life because why? You are planted by the rivers of water. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The righteous man does not have these signs of death dryness. His leaves are green and alive. Praise God. It might not have no fruit on it, but it's green and alive. Praise God. Hallelujah. God gives you life and joy and peace in the middle of your storm. Peace not as the world gives it. Praise God. God will give you peace. God will give you joy that surpasses all understanding. And whatever he does, he said, that's you shall prosper. 
It isn't that the, the righteous man has a, a, a mighty church. And everything he does and makes him rich or comfortable, but it's because life is in the righteous man. God brings forth something that is good and wonderful out of everything. Why? Because we know that all things work together for good. And them that love God will call according to his purpose. Even church circumstances circumstances bring for something that shall prosper. God sent his son to this great earth to heal and deliver us and to set us free from our sin. He died on the cross that we might have a right to the tree of life. And now he sits on the right hand of God in heaven. Our Father, our Lord, Jesus Christ. He came to this earth. He came to this earth to die for us. Praise God. The Bible says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have an everlasting life. Praise be to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. What do you want this morning? What do you want this new year? Do you want resolution or revelation? If you want revelation from God, you can have it today. You can have it just... <laughs>